Okay. Um, on the eve of this uh, Easter long weekend, uh, we again stand up to remind people of their obligations on South Australian roads and encourage people to take all reasonable care when they're travelling to their holiday destinations. Already this year we've had 36 people lose their lives in South Australia, 22 last year, and uh, the difference of 14 is uh, hard to convey unless we talk about the true impact of those 14 deaths. That's 14 extra times police officers have, have had to knock on someone's door and tell a loved one about the death or they've had to assist a loved one identify a person in the morgue. This has a tremendous toll on the individual police officers and other emergency services workers and it's one we'd like to see reduced. That's not to say that we don't want to see um, uh, family members not have to go through that trauma as well, but we talk about that quite regularly. It's, uh, it's a collective issue. It's, it's one where we see uh, trauma being uh, inflicted not just on the people in the cars who are involved in collisions, but the family members, the friends, those people gathering over Easter, uh, reflecting on the loss rather than celebrating uh, a special time in our calendar. And it's also about the impact it has on our emergency services workers. So our appeal is to peop for people to uh, drive responsibly, obey the road rules, think about the, dur the duration of their journey, take rests and concentrate on the task of driving and arrive safely and make sure your passengers arrive safely as well. What, what sort of impact does it have on families? You know, there's been another serious crash what, last night. You know, what impact does it have? Well, there's a family right now uh, waiting to see how a 21-year-old man uh, comes through the critical injuries he sustained as a result of a collision in the northern suburbs. And we're hopeful this, this young man lives, but even in the event that he does live, there's also the prospect of lifelong injuries that are going to have a devastating effect on that family, so the individual and the family. Uh, it's, it, it compels us to remind people, and it, and it obligates all of us as road users to do, to do what we can to drive safely, not just so we protect ourselves, but so we protect our passengers and the other people who are using the roads. Is it your understanding that police are investigating speed in relation to that accident? Look, it's too early for me to make any comments about the causes of the collision. Needless to say, we'll be doing a thorough investigation and we'll see where that takes us. In relation to this long weekend, how many officers uh, do you expect to be out on the roads monitoring uh, traffic? Uh, it's our practice not to disclose uh, operational details, um, but I can assure people there will be a strong contingent of South Australian police officers on our roads and we'll be utilising uh, speed detection technology and other equipment to ensure that people are complying with the road rules and where they're not, that we hold them to, to account for their driving behaviour. Are there any particular... Oh, sorry. Can you give us any sort of details about the additional resources that are being put on? Uh, we have uh, numerous traffic police officers, plus general duties patrols are also tasked with road safety responsibilities over a period like a long weekend, and uh, we'll be working around the clock, and particularly on those days of peak travel times as people leave for their holiday destinations and return from them. We'll also be focusing on rural areas because it's a well-known fact that majority of accidents happen in rural locations, uh, which results in significant fatalities and also serious injuries. Are there any particular driving behaviours that police uh, will be monitoring or that you're getting frustrated that are uh, coming up in a serious accident? Uh, well, I think it goes without saying that speed is a major contributor to uh, fatalities and serious injuries. Uh, we're also very concerned about uh, distraction and the, the fact the fact of that plays in terms of uh, serious injuries and fatal collisions. And, and we remind people time and time again uh, to leave their mobile phone alone whilst they're driving. Uh, the, the responsibilities and obligations that go with driving a vehicle preclude all other uh, desirable activities such as answering a phone or checking Facebook or uh, dealing with uh, text messages. So the, the message is there and we make no apologies for issuing hefty expiations for distraction offences and we're also encouraging people over this long weekend to make sure they wear their, wear their seat belts. Too many, lives are le left, too many lives are lost unnecessarily because people don't wear seat belts and it's a very simple thing people can do to increase their chances of surviving a collision should they be involved in one. Is it often the case that people just think that they, this will never happen to them? If you look at the, uh, the frequency of travel on our roads, the number of kilometres travelled by the number of cars, it becomes very easy to be complacent about the risks of being involved in a collision, but it only takes one mistake at the wrong time to change that dynamic and to result in somebody who probably never thought it would happen to them being involved in a serious collision, resulting in a fatality or a serious injury either than to, to themselves or to other road users, and we'd clearly like to see that not happen. I'm not sure if you have... Oh, please, please, please. Well, why haven't you considered, uh, like, double demerit points where they have you with state, or is that something you're looking at? 
Uh, it's not something that's been directly considered in South Australia. We do monitor uh, interstate trends. It would be a matter for government in relation to the uh, uh, introduction of double demerits. Um, but I need to remind everybody uh, that overwhelmingly the majority of road users in South Australia do the right thing. They obey the road rules, they drive carefully, they take breaks, uh, they share the driving. Uh, and we focus on the recidivist offenders and the people who act in a dangerous way or take chances that should not be taken. So we'll, we'll do our job of enforcing the current legislation and we'll make sure people are accountable for their behaviour. And uh, the issue of double demerits may be something that's considered in the future. Uh, Commissioner, I know it is now before the court, but how hard did police uh, work to arrest someone in relation to uh, the alleged attack on a little girl out, um, in the uh, The arrest of a 29-year-old man for the, uh, the indecent sexual assault on a young girl uh, a couple of weeks ago is um, a great result. Um, police have been working tirelessly since the offence was uh, committed and uh, I'm extremely proud of the work that's been done and the effort that's been put in. Uh, you, you certainly can't uh, comment anything but favourably on the level of commitment shown to identifying this person and holding them accountable for their actions. I'd also like to acknowledge the, uh, the public who made contact with SAPOL through Crime Stoppers. Uh, the information is gratefully received. As I've said before, uh, nobody ever knows which piece of information it is that may be the one bit that leads to a successful conclusion to an investigation. And it's also important to acknowledge the media because they shine a spotlight on, on a crime like this, keep it in the public's mind and encourage people who may have seen something to come forward. So we're grateful for that cooperation as well. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, I'd just like to concur with what the Commissioner has said as we go into this Easter long weekend, and we probably need to be uh, uh, mindful that it's not just at Easter, it's at every time we're on the roads, but it just appears that at Easter time and holiday times, it does come to the forefront. But we do ask people to make sure they take responsibility on the roads for their actions and uh, make sure they protect themselves, their family, and other road users. As the Commissioner said, uh, police will be out in force over this long weekend. They'll be there to make sure people are doing the right thing. But we ask people to take that responsibility upon their own shoulders to do the right thing, protect themselves and protect their families. Um, look, Easter can be a wonderful time. It's a great time to catch up with family and friends and to think about your family. And if something were to happen at this time of year as well, the memories and the, the remembrance that would happen as an anniversary every Easter would just be devastating. So we know already uh, the number of people that have died on our roads uh, this year is not acceptable and we want to do everything we can to make sure we reduce that figure. People often talk about the road toll, it's a term I don't like because a toll indicates that this is a price we have to pay and we don't. People can take responsibility for their actions and make sure they're doing everything in their power to keep themselves and their families safe. Yeah, we're certainly mindful of the uh, proximity of Anzac Day to the Easter break and we anticipate there will be lots of families during the school holidays who will take advantage of this to extend their holiday period. So we'll be, we'll be deploying our resources across that entire period. We, we pay special attention over long weekend periods and with Anzac Day falling so closely to Easter, um, we've planned for that and we'll have resources out to make sure that uh, people are driving safely. Okay, thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thanks.